Okay, I hope everybody can see this. So I'm gonna go ahead and start demoing. So right here, what we have is just basically a remote connection to my Android device here on my desktop. So it's, we're gonna pretend like we're acting as my uh, phone devices in my hand. Um, I've received my, uh, so my, my store, my retail location in Cash Register Express um, has a copy credential set up. So here's all the background requirements. I'm on the correct version. I'm connected to the copy. So I'm ready to proceed. And then in, inside Salesforce, order fulfillment already flagged me for mobile inventory. And my registration code is already set for pocket inventory. So I have met all the pre-requirements. Now, uh, and also I've set this user up as one of the employees for this email address. So I'm gonna go ahead and sign in. And again, you can see from here that you have this functionality. I'm gonna do a reload of data, which means I'm gonna refresh and pull down the most recent database information from Cash Register Express, just so we can start fresh here. All right, and then from there again, you can look up items. Um, I can filter through departments based on whatever departments I have. So it's only going to show me my items. I have the ability to show the details of items that I look up. I can edit those items. So that would be similar to pocket inventories, edit functionality. You have the same thing here. We've added more functionality within here. So now we have all the tax. Check ID two, uh, one and two. So again, this will fall off fold back over to CRE when you uh, send pending changes. If you were gonna make a change, so maybe I wanna make a change in here. Uh, let's go ahead and uncheck tax one, and then I'm gonna save. Uh, I'm gonna scan a barcode. Again, this brings up the barcode uh, on my device. I'm just gonna scan uh, item I have. Okay, now again, this is saying that the item is not found, so it's not inside uh, Catch Register Express database. So let's go ahead and add it. I'm just going to call it iced tea. Let's do a price of three dollars. Cost is a dollar fifty. Um, let's do in stock. Let's do we received in fifty. So again, just a brand new item wasn't found. Let's go ahead and add it quickly. Um, you can see underneath pending changes that I have my edit that I did and my new item. Um, so that's just some of the functionality. Let's go ahead and go into purchase orders real quickly. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and create that purchase order. Obviously, a vendor is required. So these, are, these vendors, again, would be created within Cash Register Express and tied to uh, your items, similar to pocket inventory. Um, you can create a reference number. Uh, shipping, let's say via FedEx. We, then we'll go ahead and click on add items. Again, you can scan barcode or look up items. So you're gonna see that functionality throughout. Um, again, if you know quickly by looking up, you can look that item up. Um, you also have the ability to do by eaches and by cases. So we'll do by eaches and then we're gonna order a quantity. Let's say we're adding 50 again. So we're gonna create that PO. So underneath pending changes, again, um, these are where you'll see all the changes that you've made. So we made three changes so far. We did a purchase order, we did a count, and then we did an edit. Um, so the, the edit, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, basically swipe left. You'll see that the delete comes up, so I can go ahead and delete that. So any changes that you do not wanna go over can be deleted right from this screen. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete that. And then we're gonna go ahead and send those two to the POS that the changes that we made. It's gonna confirm those that do you wanna send those changes? 